It may be the end of a successful 2017 for the president, but he's still getting plenty of pushback on his immigration agenda. Liberal California Jerry Brown, the governor, can you imagine that, continuing to defy President Trump and granting holiday pardons to two foreigners who are on the verge of being deported for committing crimes while in the United States. Meanwhile, Pope Francis, no shocker there, appears to have even taken on the president, highlighting the struggles of refugees in his Christmas mass and urging Christians to embrace immigrants, all while living behind the walled Vatican. I find that interesting, Kennedy. I got to throw that to you. I got a legal question for Katie Pavlich. Yeah. But, you know, you talk about the opposition, Jerry Brown, the Pope, all of them highlighting the plight of others, but they live safely in their walls and they're behind their gates and their staffs and their protection. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not going to attack the Pope, but I will say about Jerry Brown, I think there are certain cities and um, certain law enforcement agencies who protect the wrong people at the wrong time. I actually don't disagree with the two people that Jerry Brown pardoned uh, because these were crimes that either happened a while ago, both of them went to prison, they both served their time, uh, they both showed that they were rehabilitated and did their best to redeem themselves and live a better life. And I think that this time of year, uh, we should honor that redemption and we should honor that hard work. And I get uncomfortable when we paint all immigrants with a broad brush. And actually, Well, I, I paint them as legal or illegal, Katie, and well, that is simply it. Now, it's a federal law when it comes to immigration, the, the responsibility of the federal government, a violation of federal law mm -hmm. to be here illegally. So I'm a little confused. And maybe well, we need a judge on this, but first, Jerry Brown pardoned. First, it's important somebody. to point out that these two men came here legally. They were brought here legally into the country uh, as children. However, I don't understand the legal aspect of how Jerry Brown can pardon a deportation order when that is a federal issue, not a state issue. He can pardon state-level crimes. Now, here's my problem with this. There are a lot of American citizens who you know, weren't brought here uh, from another country who probably needed pardon pretty badly as well. I think they probably should take precedent. The other thing that bothers me is that Jerry Brown is constantly talking about gun control and California being the number one uh, state that has the best laws and the rest of the country should emulate them. This one of the, the men he pardoned was convicted on a felony weapons charge with a gang enhancement. And so it doesn't, you know, if you're going to pardon people who violate uh, gun laws and yet lecture the rest of the country about theirs, I have a problem with that. Barack Obama did the same thing. So are pardons something that are used in this country for redemption? They're Absolutely. always the time of the year to do it. There, there's yes, no doubt however, about that. But if someone serves their time and has not committed crime since they left prison, isn't that what we want from people? Isn't that that part of uh, but, but the, are, the point of the choices? prison system? So w whether there are choices or not, I, I, I want people who are hardworking, good people to come to this country and make this country even right. better. That's what I want gun, from gun the Gun enhancement laws and charges and prosecutions are not done easily and easily by court. They are in California. And prosecutors. Uh, Jessica, is this just politics, really? I mean, he could have, how many people are probably in the California in your prison system that could have, you know, maybe deserved a Is there a, a limit on the number of pardons that he can grant? No, he, it's only how much time he has to do it. And I think that he did want to send a statement before the holidays to President Trump to say, I am not interested in your perspective or your views on how we should deal with the illegal immigrant population in this country. And truthfully, what he did, to Kennedy's point about how prison is supposed to be used as a rehab rehabilitation mechanism, and it was in this case, and the drug enhancement charge was from 1995. He hasn't done anything since then. Uh, is in line the with the American charge. people. The While the American people, the gun sorry. charge, sorry. Uh, while people do want to see increased border safety and stuff like that, they don't want the 11 million that are here already to be deported. Yeah. And that's what President Trump so has threatened, and that's what question. you're talking about. Do you think Jerry Brown should pardon Kate Steinle's murderer? After all, he's still under well, some charges. Well, he's committed crimes. Uh, he's, he's offended he's six times over. I, mean, I, I was but shocked he that he was been... acquitted of the crime. Right. Well, acquitted. that's California juries for you in San Francisco. Justice, go ahead, Tom. Well, you also, you make a good point bringing up that case, but I think it to wrap it all together, I do agree with you, Kennedy, you have to fight certain battles. And I think you don't want to fight 
uh, you know, the, the right of a governor to pardon people. That's something that is going to happen, and we don't right. want to mess with that. Yeah. The battle to fight is on sanctuary cities and other things like that. Cities that are defying national immigration law, that's where we fight the battle, not over these individual guys who they, may be sympathetic. But there's also the a big difference between someone who has committed a felony recently, right. who is not, you know, when ICE is not informed that this person is being held, who is ready for deportation, who has committed some sort of a violent crime. Those are the people that this pushback right. against sanctuary yeah. cities is meant to... But the but criminal should... aspect of this is the parallel here right, here, right? So even though these men who were convicted, served their time in the state mm -hmm. prison system in, in California, you know, didn't commit a crime since, the parallel is that they were brought into this country, were given everything by America, and they still decided to break the law in a very violent way. Now, you fast forward to today, that and Americans have put up for two decades, three decades of that, and they've had it. They've had it with allowing people to come in and to violate the laws in their communities that are violent against the people. What about who people who violate laws who were born here? But, that, but well, that's, well, that's a fair point. Exactly. However, but the difference is people feel like now they've been putting up with illegal immigration and they're never being aligned between legal and illegal immigration that they've had to deal with illegal immigrants getting a pass for so long. That, they want someone to be held accountable. Don't you think that's specifically why Jerry Brown picked two people who offended so long ago? I don't, who know, also why he, I don't know why he No, but he picks. could have. He didn't go and pardon Kate Steinle's murderer. He didn't pick people who had been violent within the last few years. He picked people where really their main crime, at least in the eyes of uh, immigration hardliners, is that they crossed into this country illegally in the first place. And right. that's the argument about those 11 million. Then, then we have to so, change the laws to allow certain people right. to come into this country who are good people, who want to work right. hard. Though, that system is broken. And, give them and a that's pathway. something that, that Congress well, is incapable of addressing. Yeah. Look, the that's Democrats, true. when they had the chance, didn't do a thing about immigration with that. They and that's right. They, they did Obamacare. Well, well, neither neither, did, Republicans. Finish, neither Republicans did Republicans. But finally, we have a president who is apparently going to visit the wall or or the new, you know, versions the prototypes. The prototypes. Go down there, see what they are, and start building them.